Good Tuesday morning to everybody. Um, welcome to this short video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a new tool that I've written for the ZX Spectrum Next. Uh, the tool is called Get It. So let's launch Get It. Um, it uses the Wi Fi um, ESP in your Next to connect to the internet and is a front end to a back end database. Um, I've been working on the back end website and database for the past month um, the tool uses remy sharps http uh, for doing the heavy heavy downloading um, it's also got kev brady's awesome polo and mod playback engine so thanks nine bit color for that amazing job um, the application as we can see once we launch we get a message of the day um, this is taken directly from the zxnext.uk uh, website when you launch the application, it's automatically downloaded. Um, the front end here gives you a couple of options. Um, you can search via term and use the cursors to go up and down. So you can search via category. Uh, you can do a music search, which we'll come to in a little bit. Uh, manage files to kind of um, control your files and clean up and so on. Um, extract it and launch your next file from in here. Um, the bottom three are currently not working. Um, I know what the reason is, but well, it's not important for this demonstration. So, um, get it. We can do a search term. If we do a blank search term, it will return all the results that's currently in the database. Um, as we can see here, these this are free games that I have added into the database. So we've got some content to look at. Um, it's they are stored in date order so the most recent is at the top and what we can do is we can press return to pick an item um, we can select a title press return uh, we get some information we get the title we get the uh, file name and uh, the size number of downloads the get it id um, small description the author's name and then the author's website and from here we can press return and download that file directly to the next so do you want to download let's use yes it'll tell us that it's downloading and that's it save to the next um we can search um for instance i'm going to just search for disc mags which we do. we've only got three at the moment the brilliant one by the sun team um we can search by um a user so we can see some of the stuff that I've done um, we can also search via category or tools um, and as you can see I've got things in here like um, dot ping I've got Wi-Fi connect um, let's have a look music that's mostly the stuff I've done a couple of games in there um, as you can see, everything has a nice little screenshot and some information. Um, so we can cancel out of that. And let's go back to the main page. So there's other content. So how do we get content onto um, this database? Well, I shall show you on the PC side of things. So if I just minimize my next view, we can see this is the database. Um, these are all the current titles that are in the database. Um, can see we can click on an individual one to get some more information um, let's go back uh, for example advanced law more simulator it's got a link to the users the author's website the number of downloads that it's have um, all very nice and clean okay so let's go back so if we wanted to um, upload an application let's have a look so currently at the top of the list is smelly cat 128k so let's go to um, zxnext.uk and we'll choose upload um, we shall do um, beast demo for the moment um, this is being done by mike daily uh, we'll just put cspec.org for the moment. Um, demo of Beast intro. Um, I can't remember what year, 2020, 2020, something like that. It's been a while. So um, it's a demo. 
So we'll choose the file. So we can see, I'm just going to select Beast. Um, ideally, you might want to zip this up to make it a little bit smaller. Um, it's quick, quicker for people to download, but we'll, for this demonstration, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, and then we choose a picture. Uh, this is a screenshot I've already taken, so I click OK. Um, and then that's all we need to do. We click Submit. We should get a message to say that um, it's been successfully uploaded to the database. Uh, we can view the actual one that we've uploaded there. It's already in there. Let's go back. As we can see, it's now available at the top. So let's go back to the next. So if we uh, just cancel and then do a fresh search, as we can see now at the top, we've got a new entry uh, called Beast Demo. We can pick that. There we go. We've got the screenshot. Um, and we could download that directly for 240k. Um, I think I've got my ESP set. Uh, um, possibly two meg. Oh, it's faster than normal, so as you can see, it's already downloaded. And let's launch that. So if we just go back into our downloads folder now, we can see there's Dungeon that we downloaded before, and there's the Beast demo. Um, I think it's actually changed screen and it has. Come here. Let me see. What's going on? I think the scandal is on. Oh my gosh. Let me just get back into the world of normal. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so it's forcing scan lines off, so that's why it's looking a bit squashed. There we go. That looks normal. There we go. We've got the beast demo running. Downloaded directly from zedeknext.uk. So there's another thing that I wanted to show. So if we go back in to get it, uh, let it launch up. So to use this, you, uh, obviously you need a Wi-Fi module in your Next. Um, so I've also added the ability to um, search and download files directly from Mod Archive, which um, this uses Kev's B, Kev B's uh, Pull or Mod Playback Engine. Um, I've got access to the Mod Archive API, so we are allowed to download music directly so if we let's do a search term let's do a um, chip because i know it's putting here chip tunes so as we can see this page one of 78 um lots of juicy tunes here um let's pick this first one so as you can see press two. Let's start downloading i've got another one can't be that awesome mod sound um as you can see you can kind of download it. and once you once you've actually downloaded the song um it will stay in the download folder so you can just press it again you don't have to keep re-downloading it so let's have a look at this anarchy menu by format so lots of music here to play with um if you press space and go back to music search We've also got the ability to search uh, zxart.ee for the most recent um, music files that have been uploaded. Unfortunately, I've not got a way to filter between Pro Tracker files and other music files, out, so they're all currently returned. Um, but the ones without a mod ID, um, they aren't Pro Tracker or PT3 files, so you can't download them. However, everything else is ready to go. So if you press return on, say, this one, should see it download. You can see it uses the inbuilt downloader. Um, play PT3. As you can see, there's a lot for you to. A lot of tunes for you to um, sit through and enjoy. So as we say, this is Get It. Um, it will be available fairly soon. Um, if you're a developer or somebody wants to distribute uh, your software directly to the next, uh, please do let me know. Um, we can set you up an account on the back end and then you you can distribute software fairly easy. Um, possibly the idea is even if people have got paid games, they might want to do a demo version 
to put and get it to allow people to play that demo version possibly increase sales uh, interest in a, in a piece of software um, so that's get it in a nutshell i hope you found this useful and i hope you enjoy using this application goodbye